Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. Christos Anesti, Christ is risen. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to conclude our conversation and reflection on the first beatitude. I have spoken at length about the first half of it, parsing out what poverty of spirit means and what that means for our day-to-day -day life and how we can respond to it. Now, Today, we're going to move on to the second part of the Beatitude, namely that the kingdom of heaven belongs to the poor in spirit, those who are poor in spirit. First, in order to do this, we really need to parse out what it means when Christ says kingdom of heaven, when we're talking about the idea of the kingdom of heaven, what is the kingdom of heaven? And from there, we can go on to reflect on its significance for us in our spiritual lives as we live them daily. To begin, when Christ speaks about the kingdom of heaven, he is not referencing or referring to an earthly kingdom. In fact, we see throughout his ministry that he would speak about the kingdom of heaven in parables, and his apostles and disciples misunderstood what he was saying, what the real meaning of that was. As we've talked about, they were expecting an earthly king, to save them from their earthly oppressions. And Christ repeatedly called them out for not understanding. It was only after the resurrection that his disciples truly understood what Christ meant when he said things like, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And when Christ spoke about the kingdom of heaven, what he was really speaking about was a blessing promised namely, the blessing of the experience of God. We have spoken at length about this in other videos, that the kingdom of heaven is synonymous with words like theosis or deification, and phrases like union with God and divine human communion. The kingdom is the experience of God, a relationship with God, not some place where we will all one day live if we're good. This means that the kingdom of heaven is not something abstract, but rather something deeply personal. Yes, it is true that ultimately we await it with anticipation, the kingdom of heaven. We hope for its arrival, but we also experience it here and now. This is because, as we have already said, Heaven is not an earthly kingdom, though the kingdom of heaven in the future times will be material and in a newly recreated earth. But really what it is, is God's divine presence and us participating in and relating to God through his presence in the midst of us. The beauty and the challenge with which we are faced because of, because of this reality are that we cannot passively enter into a heavenly space, into the kingdom of heaven. Christ began his earthly ministry with a command to repent, something that we will unpack in a few, uh, a few other videos that we'll be doing on, this, uh, on the next um, beatitude something uh, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We are to repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's here. Entering into the kingdom of heaven means that we are willing to re live renewed lives and freely receive the gift of God's heavenly kingdom, which is freely offered to us. We do this even though we only ever get a glimpse, a flash of the reality of the fullness of God's presence here and now, only a glimpse of the kingdom. In the first beatitude, Christ connects poverty of spirit with the experience of the presence of God. The kingdom of heaven is ours when we are absolutely dependent on God when we see that he sustains us along with all of creation, when we recognize that we have our existence because of God, 
then we will open ourselves up to the full experience of his presence in our lives and in the world around us. We will move through this reality as though, it were, as though we were walking through the kingdom of heaven because ultimately God who is everywhere present and filling all things is in the midst of us. And as we walk with full awareness of that, an awareness that we have to cultivate through poverty of spirit, allows us to walk in the kingdom presently as a foretaste, not in its fullness, but in reality. The gift of the kingdom of heaven has already been given. We, will, we, we need to answer this question in action. Will we accept this gift daily, manifesting it in the manner in which we live our lives? Will we seek out poverty of spirit to fully live into the reality that we are totally, utterly, completely dependent on our God? Or will we, or will we settle on impermanent things, things that don't last, things that are trivial and ultimately fruitless? Well, in the next video uh, series, uh, uh, during the uh, next parts of this series of videos on the Beatitudes, we will discuss the second Beatitude, and we'll, we will reflect more deeply on the changes that such a life, a life of total dependence on God, and the recognition that all comes from God, has on us, specifically in terms of the question of repentance and returning to God when we fall away. God bless you. We love you. We're here for you. Don't hesitate to reach out. Leave us a message in the comment section or on, on social media. Call us, email us. We're here for you 24 hours a day. Again, God bless you. We love you dearly. Christos Anesti, Christ is risen.